A.A. is crowning a new breed of champion in this young, exciting sport. Avos Tours Company is proud to be a part of the championship of Anthony Elmore, the PKA World Super Heavyweight Champion, undefeated and untied in 24 professional bouts. Anthony Elmore, a black belt holder, saw his first PKA bout on an NBC Sports World broadcast in 1979. His first professional bout followed later that year, and he realized every fighter's dream by defeating Demetrius Oaktree Edwards for the PKA Heavyweight Championship in 1979. Elmore then began to form his own ring personality, something like a young Muhammad Ali. Whoop your butt, we get your home down the season. But the next time we fight, you will, you, I don't need no service, because I'm going to knock you out, old okay? dude. Now, this is my prediction. Big John Jackson will not go past eight rounds with me. The boy will not even put a glove on it. I'm going to be dancing so pretty. I'm going to be looking so good. And look, and every time you look around, I'm going to keep a foot in his face. Bam! 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 Look, look, look. And look, and don't be looking pretty doing it. I'm going to be looking pretty doing it. And look, I'm going to tell you, boy, look. And I'm going to tell, tell you about the big joke. Down. Huh? Captain's talking now. No, you know, listen, you come here as a captain, but boy, I'm going to sink your ship and you're going to go back on the tow boat. <laughs> I'm going to sum it up right here with this right here on Big Joke Jackson. You, boy, I hope you're looking at it because I'm going to kill you. You mean some lying. And although professional karate traces its roots to the Oriental art, today's spectator sport is substantially different from the self-defense oh, round one has indeed been electrifying for the champion. And he goes right back to work. You can see the photos and the kicks for the champion. He has already had a total of 19 kicks in this first round. Elmore has been uh, criticized by some for not throwing enough kicks. That's pretty good. As a running back check for Paris on the canvas, and that's going to be a J.C. World for this over. No, but Charles, this looks more like uh, the 4th of July here than the season we're actually in. Bob Elmore is known for his entrance to the way, and this certainly does not just the creativity. You're absolutely right. I'm not sure if this is uh, going to be uh, karate kickboxing or maybe the opening of the uh, Olympics here. The liberation of Anthony Elmore in the city of Memphis. Now we can see the champ over in the corner. Uh, I think the uh, camera angle is like, there's the champ, his handler, uh, Lloyd Carr, holding the belt over his head. He's kind of getting dancing and clowning around as a way to relieve a lot of uh, free fight tension and, and the crowd really loves it. Let's take a closer look now at the career of the champ, Anthony the Amp Elmore. Anthony Amp Elmore kicked his way into the kickboxing spotlight by defeating Demetrius Oaktree Edwards in Memphis in 1982, winning the PKA World Heavy title. Elmore defended that title six more times. In 1984, the AMP switched sanctioning organization, fighting for and winning the Karate International Council of Kickboxing World Super Heavyweight title, defeating Super Heavy Tether Super Ray Williams in his hometown of Memphis. Not happy with just one title, a year later, in 1985, Elmore fought and won his second world championship, defeating number one ranked contender Gentleman Bill Morrison from Charlotte, North Carolina, and becoming the Kick World Heavyweight Champion in his last title defense, Elmore easily won a unanimous decision against Jeff Hollins from Austin, Texas. He'll be checked out if he is still feeling a little rugged. He'll be checked out. This is what did him in. Watch the left hand of Elmore. Send him up with that body shot and whoop. And whoop. That jolted his body all the way down to his toes. Winner, the Dallas Champions, electrifying Anthony M. 